Hey, what's going on, all you ghouls and ghosts out there? My name is Mike Macabra, and welcome to the graveyard. As always, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share the video, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my reaction videos, Friday Night Frights, mouthing off with Mike Macabra, or whatever else I'm doing on this channel. But on tonight's episode, we have another reviews and reactions. And making their debut on the channel is... Oh, uh, um... I know I'm going to pronounce this incorrectly. Um, you are all... Hopefully I pronounced that somewhere close. Uh, but we're going to be reacting to their song called... Sounds of Pain. I do believe this is a lyric video, and that video will be down in the description box. Feel free and pleasure at your leisure. And this request comes to us by Joel Jesus. Thank you again for that lovely, lovely request. As always, going into this blind with my off-the-cuff comments, if I recognize a song, I'll definitely let everybody know. I'm going to be as transparent as possible. But, no more ghouling around, let's jump right in. Alright, ghouls and ghosts, you are all with their song, Sounds of Pain, subtitled in English. like flamenco guitars but it's absolutely beautiful I like how there's two separate guitars as well. chilling Bro. 
loaded. God, that's creepy. Sounds like he's in like a sewer.
note they should have kept with the piano here. Or at least made that more of the focal point. Dark folk, folk doom metal. I can see the doom metal at the end. Wow, it's okay. So this is this is what I thought they, they had different chapters. It's like a story. I, I'm just I'm flabbergasted. Uh, I gotta collect my thoughts and I gotta think about this one for a little bit. See in the review section. All right, ghouls and ghosts. That was you, Arl. Again, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. With their song, Sounds of Pain, lyric video. That video will be down in the description box for your viewing pleasure. 
at your leisure. And again, this request comes to us by Joel Jesus. Thank you again for that lovely, lovely request. I was completely flabbergasted at this thing. It, it was so many emotions. So much going on. It was... It was depressing. It was bleak. Dark. But yet beautiful and somber. There are parts that I really, really liked. And there's one particular part that I was not really a fan of, but uh, I'm getting a little ahead of myself and then I'll explain that a little bit later. Let's start with the instrumentation. I mean, all you have in the beginning was uh, the vocals, the two, I think maybe three uh, classic or um, acoustic guitars, excuse me. And then towards the end, you got more of the the metal and the drums and all of that. This was, for if I had to describe it, encapsulate it in one word, well, two words, technically speaking, <laughs> roller coaster. It was just, it was... It was a journey. It was atmospheric. The the breaking up of the chapters, I, I, like I, it sounded like he was in the sewer and he was like ripping out pages of like a book or a diary or something. I I couldn't quite tell. I have no idea. If anybody knows, I'm sure the requester knows a hell of a lot more than I ever possibly could about that. But just let me know in the comment section, the six feet under, I would greatly appreciate it. Beautiful flamenco guitars. Very moving piano parts. And honestly, the, the video, changing it up with the rain and, and the darkness and the lighting of it was a nice change. Uh... I would have preferred, personally, if they would have a little bit more of the piano be a, a, a focus of the track. And given, I, I suppose, given the context of its, you know, like a story, there's four chapters. You know, each chapter has a little something different, but it's still being like a cohesive unit. But let's talk about the vocal work. I much preferred the more natural singing voice and the vocal harmonies, especially towards uh, the end during the the metal part of it. That all worked really well, and it was just so unique with the the throat singing. I think he's well. It's kind of like I don't want to say like black metal where they have that kind of thing. It just this seems more throated than m most black metal. Uh, bands or death metal bands. The only other band that I know of that can do like throat singing like that is The Who. H-U, not the classic rock band The Who. And I've never really listened to The Who that much. As far as... I know there's like one song I think I heard is one of the, one of the ones they're most famous for. But they kind of broke through. I, th I think. I'm not sure. I couldn't tell you the name of the song or anything about it. I just know I heard it. And that was very reminiscent to me of, at least vocally speaking. I, I, I guess the song needed some juxtaposition between the sweet, melancholic, flamenco-style guitars. It adds doom, it adds this sense of tension and evil and you're just in that little box of like depression and sadness and it's hard to break and you have these dark evil feelings sometimes a very effective nonetheless I, I wasn't a huge fan of it uh, personally I think it fits more 
for the the metal, dark metal, doom metal, that sort of stuff. But like I said, within the context and the juxtaposition of the song, I kind of felt it was needed. So I mean, it, it is going to affect the score on this one particularly. In the beginning, I was like, okay, yeah, this, I can... I can see where this is going, but when they kept doing it and doing it, it just it lost some of its oomph towards the end. Um, I I I won't lie, I was starting to get a little bored. Uh, towards like the middle to like two thirds of it, until I got back to the the metal where it got switched it up with the metal part, and it was almost like a fresh new thing. It made me feel more invigorated again, because the the the, the two-thirds of it was just this depressing piece. So, I mean, I'm glad they put that in there. If it was just kind of just depressing throughout the whole thing, I'd be like, oh, oh. So, so drained. So, taking everything into account, visually, musically, and vocally, I am going to give this 4.5 skulls out of 5. Absolutely happy with that score, for all the reasons I just stated. The only reason I didn't give it the 5 skulls is because I was just, towards the end, or the two-third mark, I was just kind of getting bored. Like, okay, well, I get it kind of thing. Let's hurry it up a little bit here. <laughs> but then it kicked in and then it was felt immediately refreshed uh, during the metal parts. And the the throat singing not exactly lining up, kind of getting old real quick kind of thing. So that's why I got 4.5 skulls out of 5. But I think that's going to be it for this episode of Reviews and Reactions. As always, if you like what you saw, like, subscribe, comment, share the video, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my reaction videos, Friday Night Frights, Mouthing Off with Mike Macabre, or what else I'm doing on this channel. But as always, ghouls and ghosts, stay scared.